Okay, welcome to the rapid revision of Unit 1. Unit 1 consists of three parts, environment, ecosystems and biodiversity. Environment is the sum total of biotic and abiotic. Biotic can be divided into producer, consumer and decomposer. And abiotic can be divided into the hydrosphere, atmosphere and lithosphere, H-A-L. Now, the biotic, producer, consumer and decomposer are interrelated to each other for the transfer or the flow of energy. Now, biotic and abiotic, they interact with each other to form what is called as the ecosystem. The ecosystem is the systematic interaction of living and non-living components of the earth, which is collectively called as the environment. Ecosystems, again, we have structure and function in ecosystems. The structure of the ecosystem is divided into majorly the land ecosystem and the aquatic ecosystem. The land ecosystem is divided into forest, desert and grassland and all three can be further divided into two major things tropical and temperate depending on their proximity to the equator of the earth there is one more on the land ecosystem and that is the polar region now aquatic ecosystems can be divided into two major types which is lentic and lotic lentic is the stagnant water body and lotic is the flowing water bodies now there are three major ecosystems that you should study they are pond ecosystems, lake ecosystems and ocean ecosystems and in all these ecosystems, they are divided in the range of nutrients, light, depth and temperature. Now, the function of the ecosystem. The function of the ecosystems is basically into two types. They will function either through the means of food chain or through the means of food web. A food chain is a simple unilinear transfer of energy between the living components from the producer to the consumer to finally both producer and consumer go to the decomposers. And in full web, it is an interrelated network of food chains, which is many food chains brought together in a complicated manner. That is food web. Following environment and ecosystems, we have biodiversity. And the first thing that you need to know about biodiversity is its definition, which is the variety and variability amongst the different organisms found in this planet. Number two, following diversity's definition is the types of diversity. The types of biodiversity are number one species biodiversity, ecosystem biodiversity and genetic biodiversity from the types of biodiversity. Following the definition and the types of biodiversity, you have values of biodiversity. In total, there are eight values of biodiversity. The major values are consumptive value, productive value and medicinal value. Following the definition, types, values of biodiversity, you have the threats to biodiversity. The major threats to biodiversity are loss of habitat, number one. Number two, man-wildlife conflict and number three, poaching, which is the illegal trading of wildlife and wildlife related products. Following the definition, types, values and threats of biodiversity, you finally have the conservation methods of biodiversity, which are two. The first method where you conserve the organism or the plant within its own environment is called as in-situ biodiversity conservation and when you take it out in the form of samples or store it in a germplasm or store it in liquid nitrogen you call it as ex-situ conservation of biodiversity so there are two methods of conservation of biodiversity in-situ and ex-situ conservation of biodiversity so we have seen the definition types values threats conservation of biodiversity finally you have what is called as hotspots of biodiversity for hotspots, we need to mention the word endemic species. Areas with high concentrations of endemic species are termed or are marked as hotspots of biodiversity. There are 26 to 28 hotspots all over the world. Two of those hotspots are in India. Number one, the Western Ghats and number two, the Eastern Himalayan region. Thank you.